The Supreme Court is trying to decide whether to throw out the murder conviction of an inmate on death row. This is a high profile case in Oklahoma. 27 News Washington correspondent Maddie Beer Temple reports on the case. Lawyers for the state of Oklahoma say death row inmate Richard Glossop didn't get a fair trial. It's not every day that an attorney general confesses error. A jury convicted Glossop of arranging the 1997 murder of his former boss, Barry Van Trees. Republican Attorney General Gentner Drummond says recent evidence of prosecutorial misconduct warrants a new trial. I'm not saying that he's not guilty, but I am saying that he was not afforded due process rights. Years after Glossop's conviction, the state said it did not disclose their key witness lied on the stand by denying being treated for a psychiatric condition. You're one witness has been exposed as a liar. When the whole case depended on his credibility. Now almost 30 years since the crime, the family of the murder victim is here at the Supreme Court asking justices to uphold that conviction. You told me at 16 when this happened that I'd still be dealing with this at 44. I wouldn't have believed you. Derek Van Trees was a teenager when his father was beaten to death with a baseball bat at the motel he owned. He wants to see the death sentence upheld. We've been through the entire emotional gamut of, uh, you know, frustration and anger and grief. The lawyer defending the state's criminal appeals court, which has upheld the sentence, argues the Supreme Court shouldn't be defending this state issue and instead dismiss the case for lack of jurisdiction, leaving petitioner free to pursue state law clemency or other available relief. The court is expected to have a decision next summer. Working for you in Washington, Maddie Beer Temple, 27 News.